Diddy Pig! Hi, I'm Aline and welcome to my kitchen. And today I am going to be working on my pork roast. I'm going to be cooking it in my crock pot and I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there knows how to use crock pot. Uh, but I'm making a pork roast. Uh, I'm going to use part of this for a pulled pork. And then the other half I'm going to use in an upcoming dish that was requested by Brian at Wanderer Arts. And that is Brunswick Stew. That's Wanderer Arts and Adventures, folks. Right. Wanderer Arts and Adventures. Uh, he does wood burning, painting. Uh, they ride around and he has a Jeep, so he talks about his Jeep. So he, he does a lot of different things. So he, he's a great channel. You know, just check him out. And I'll even leave a link in my description for his channel so you can check him out. And his better half, Krista, she does kind of country. Yeah. And I'll, I'll even leave a link for Krista's uh, channel as well. Kind of kind of country. They're both great folk. So, uh, so Krista, that's kind of a spur for you to get some content going. <laughs> So y'all have, uh, y'all check them out. But right now we're going to get back to my pork roast. And here in front of me, I have a little over three and a half pound pork roast. And I don't know if you can see the seasonings or not. Hold on just a second. Okay. There them things are. Okay. Here, now all of these are roughly a teaspoon on seasonings and I've got paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, and salt. And yes, I do have a teaspoon of salt in here because this is a big pork roast and you want to salt pork because if not, it will make you sick to your tummy and make you be in the bathroom all day. Definitely clean you yeah. out. Yeah, so I'm just going to put all these in this bowl right here, but before I put them, on the roast, I've got to do something to my cooker so I can just set it down in there. What you got to do to it? I've got to put some aluminum foil in it. Oh. I'm not putting water in here. I'm just going to let this cook in its own fat and juices. Oh. And to keep it from sticking or burning in there, I'm going to put a little bit of aluminum foil. And I didn't know you could put aluminum foil into a crock pot until I actually watch the crock pot video they were cooking something other than roast they were cooking different things in there so i'm just gonna put that in there right there right there and which aluminum foil is a conductor of heat so that will help it cook better even too. better yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this pork roast out right here and i'm gonna set it on my cutting board. Set that right there. And I got me a towel here so I can wipe my hands. Now I'm going to mix these little seasonings together. Yeah, I'm just stirring with my finger, y'all. I'm you know, fixing to use them on this pork roast. And the reason I didn't put a lot of my normal seasonings in this is because I'm going to be using part of this roast in that Brunswick stew later. And I don't want to put anything in it that's not going to taste good in that stew. So, okay, now I've got that top part done. Put it over. Well, anything that's on there, I'm just going to put and pick it up with this fork because I don't want to waste none of those seasons. Sprinkle some here and here. Just kind of pat those in. Let it cook in from all sides when it cooks. Now this is a bone-in pork roast, and I plan on, uh, sounds like we got a kitty cat knocking the door, y'all sorry about that. Be alright. They can wait till I get done, that's no big deal. I think some of them might be watching long enough, they've heard that noise, know what it is. Yeah. Especially having seen some of them kitties get in your Saturday talks. Oh yeah. And I had 
a question about one of my kitties. It was the one that was sent behind me in my last Saturday talk. Her name is Callie. Callie is our miracle kitty. She was a few months old. She bit into an electrical uh, extension cord while it was still plugged up, and she got stuff shot out her back end, and she just stretched out and messed up. Yeah, she's, it almost killed her, but she's, she made it. Uh, she's got a place on her face that had to heal up, and her hair gets kind of natty and patchy, and, uh, I've lost my little comb I used to use on her to help keep it cleaned up, so I gotta get a new comb for that. It's one of them little flea combs that helps keep her, get the gnats out of her hair. Cause that place on the side of her mouth where she bit into it, still being messed up, probably won't never heal better than what it is. Yeah. She has a harder time cleaning herself. Yeah, she can't really groom herself like she needs to as far as her, on her fur. And so I have to kind of keep the gnats, the, the little knots and natties and Anything that she runs into outside brushed out. So that that's why she kind of looks rough, y'all. I apologize. Because if she can't get them out, she just pulls the fur and all out and just leaves a little few ball spots. But uh, she she's good. She's a scrapper and a fighter. And she'll, she, she'll go after all the other kitties. She's funny. But she's a loving little kitty. Well, that's all the seasonings on this pork roast, y'all. And I'm fixing to put it in the crock pot. And I'm going to cook this on high for about anywhere from three to five hours. Just depends on what it looks like at the three hour mark, how tender it is, if it pulls apart. You know, if it's not like I want it, I'll, I'll let it go to the four hour mark. And uh, like I said, you know, anywhere between three and five hours. I know it should be done in about five hours. Thank you, pig. I will I have to wash my hands before I sit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit in my crock pot here on my island behind me, or my uh, countertop behind me, and plug it into this outlet here. <laughs> so. Pig snuck that lid on there without getting in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sorry uh, for all the movement. I will see y'all probably in somewhere between three and five hours. I'll probably bring you along at three hour mark when I check it, let you know then if I'm going to cook it for longer or if I'm going to go ahead and take it out then. But either way, we'll see you in about three hours. Okay, the roast is done and out of the oven. And I'm just going to tell y'all flat out, I got busy doing other things and forgot the time on it. And I think it actually cooked for about six hours. It cooked for uh, about three and a half, four hours on low excuse me, on high, and then I turned it to low, and I was going to let it cook for about another 30 minutes on low, and walked off and forgot. But it is so tender, y'all. Big you know, pig nuts. It is good fork tender. Better watch out. Somebody might call me a cannibal. I'll be eating my own kindred. Hey, I think it's a different type of pig. You never know. <laughs> I don't know what they sell. But yeah, that, that's how tender that pork is. And uh, you know me, I gotta have a bite of it. I'm gonna set it up here for the piggy to get a bite of it and get what he wants. But uh, that, that, that turned out really good. Mm. Y'all, that is just so good. That's the tender. Don't need my helpers to help chew it up. Well, how do you get that swallowed? I want to thank y'all very much for watching my video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and click that little bell icon if you do. Click on all and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And if you would, please leave a like and a comment. Whether it be a question, a comment, just if you think I should have some, did something different, tell me. You might never, never know. I might try your suggestions. Be sure to share these things, too. That really helps us out. Oh, yeah. Please share the videos. Because the more you share, the more people can watch. And the more people that watch, you know, the more I get out there. 
some might consider this a, a cardinal sin to say, but while we don't really care if it grows or not, we would prefer that it did. And if it does, it means we can eventually get it monetized. Getting it monetized means an income. The bigger the subscriber and being shared and everybody watching ads and all like that, the more potential income it makes. I mean, if you're going to do something while away your time and you're doing it anyway, you might as well make a little money at it if there's a potential of making money at it. That's it. A lot of people seem to, you know, just, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're in it for the money. What, what happened to America and the American dream? Uh, if you go to work, you work for the money. This is me working. But again, thank y'all for watching my videos. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where am I going?